Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are on day 24 of 31 tags in 31 days. Woohoo, we're getting there. Um, and today we are going to change it up a little bit. Um, I am going to use one of the die cuts from Susan, which is my daisy here. And we are going to create a window frame tag. Okay, what's a window frame tag you ask? Good question. The first thing I'm going to do with this window frame tag is I've got my two tags. Well, I only need one actually. I've got my tag cut out here. What I'm going to do is I'd like to put a little bit of stencil in on this one. Um, oops, a daisy. Dropping everything all over the place. And. Oh no, these are my mixed media ones. It's not going to use those. Um, sorry, I wasn't going to put some stenciling on, but I actually prefer this effect with stenciling. So I'm going to quickly grab a stencil. I love my coffee dyed stencil, as most of you who follow me know. So I'm just going to put a little bit of stencil in. Here. Okay, that looks quite a lot, yep. Yeah but it won't once we're done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my flower. And I'm just going to glue that on. Now this tag, well, sorry, this idea um, I did a journal, some couple of journal cards, and it was inspired by Corey Damon from Creating with Scraps. Um, and I loved the concept. So uh, when I was planning on these particular um, tags, I figured, why not try um, this one out? as part of the process. So I've cut this one here. I have cut it short on purpose. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bead of glue around each side. Just enough to hold it in place for now. I like that. Okay, and I'm just going to quickly cut off those areas there. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a border. Now, because it's quite a delicate image, I'm going to create a border using these Tim Holtz snippet pieces. In theory, it should work. So, I'm going to start off, actually, let me get some smaller pieces. Because I'm going to need some smaller pieces for these corners. So, I'm going to pop the first one on there. Like that. And then I need another small one for this side. 
over here. And all I'm doing is just going to glue around the edges of my tag to create a picture frame. Now you haven't got to use the same size. You can use different sizes, different colours. In fact, the more you kind of play with it and vary it, the cooler I think it looks. That's something a bit thicker than that one. It's roughly the same. I will use it on something else, I'm sure. Um, okay, what I think I'll do with this one. So I'll use a different tag there. I absolutely adore this look, but I haven't tried it before with these snippet pieces. If you haven't got any snippet pieces, use um, offcuts. I used scraps for my first lot, um, and they turned out really well. So um, just scrap pieces that I cut into different shapes, different sizes, and oh gosh, not having a good um, experience today dropping everything um, but yeah different scrap pieces you can cut up into different shapes different sizes all you're looking to do is create a border And it does look quite effective. It's a bit weird, I think, with this top piece because when you're using the square, it gives you a much cleaner um, end piece. But here, I'm using, in fact, I'm going to go up as far as there. Here, I'm using pieces to, to make the um, tag shape at the top, which doesn't always work out as you want it to. But as I said, you just play until you find what works for you. Really love this. Effect. All a bit gushy over it, but I do really love it. So, just cutting off these excess bits here, and that is kind of what it looks like at the moment. If you want to add any other bits just to kind of bulk it up a little bit now is your time so I think I might add a piece there just because there's a lot of space up there and it'll take that squareness or that odd shape away okay happy I think with that now I'm going to quickly stitch around it Okay, so you don't have to stitch around it. Um, I do it just because I like the look. And I also like the fact that it just gives a little bit more stability on the edges. Um, I am going to quickly ink those edges just because I've used the ink stencil 
underneath so it just brings it all together but this is one of my favorite pieces to make um, and I think that has turned out really well I love that in fact so super super pleased with that um, you can if you want to add an eyelet uh, but again with some either a charm or with some string or some ribbon but again I'm not going to um, I was going to but I think that just looks super cool as it is so I'm not gonna add anything else to that but that is our day 24 which is a window frame tag um, yeah, I love that. I might have to play with a few more of those. That looks super. But I will leave it there for now. Um, the sun is starting to shine through and affect the camera, so I do apologise. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you um, have a go. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and I will leave it there and catch you in the next video. So until then, as always, stay safe and be well. And I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.